Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Jill. Wish you were here. Well, no, I don't, because then I wouldn't be able to be here. We are on the Salmon River in a year where the river is really flowing unusually high, and we're about to set sail on a 10-mile stretch. Yeah, we're going to hit the white waters, and we want you to join us. You know, there's nothing quite like a whitewater adventure, particularly here along the Salmon in central Idaho. Everything from the forests, the canyons, even the river itself feel untouched by man. Like, they're as pristine today as when explorers like Lewis and Clark first told tales of its rough water stretching past the horizon. Today, our guides are the team from White Otter Outdoor Adventures in Sunbeam, Idaho, right on the river. Literally, you walk out of their shop, down a flight of stairs, and you're on the raft. Because of the amount of time they're able to spend on the water, their understanding of the salmon is second to none. The Salmon River is extremely impressive in the length of the river. It's the longest continuous undammed river within one state in the continental U.S. And the big thing about it is we are fully free flowing here. The Chinook salmon are coming back up through, and especially at a year like this where we have two and a half, three times the amount of water in the river as we usually do, it just makes it extremely fun for us to be able to actually go rafting, have some serious white water, and then have the option for a, a scenic float, some flat water sections, and just enjoying the river. We have people come into Sunbeam here, and then we walk down to the river and hop on the boats, and we do about a 10-mile stretch down the salmon. I love sharing the outdoors with people. It's really fun to be able to give people an experience that's memorable. We do get a lot of people from cities that are either experiencing rivers or the outdoors for the first time. And it, it definitely is special to be able to share that experience, especially with kids that haven't been outside before and spark an interest in spending more time outside for people. I'm excited about riding the river for the first time. You've never done rafting? Never before? have. This you have never done whitewater? No, I have not. Our good friend Neil City from Ray City RV got his first taste of rafting today as we paddle down the salmon through canyons and along sandbars. The great thing about a trip like this is that you have a very balanced experience where things are quiet and calm one minute and you're plowing through the rapids the next. I tell you, there's nothing quite like it. This entire area is a recreation hub for everything from backcountry pilots looking to touch down on a Forest Service landing strip out in the wilderness to off-highway riders seeking solitude on the trail. The Sawtooth Mountains are an imposing backdrop, acting as eternal reminders of the untamed nature of the western landscape. It's that backcountry experience, that opportunity to find peace both on and off the water, that calls adventures to the salmon year after year. I guess my favorite part about it is just the time spent with people and, and also how present people are. We don't really let people bring technology or phones on the river, so it's really the only place, sort of what it feels like in the 21st century, that people are actually really present and, and spending time together. It's tough not to have a good time once you're on the water with the splashing, with everything. People just, you can sense them just relax, enjoy it out there. It makes you feel pretty good when they're at the end and smiling and just really love it out there. Yeah, it's hard not to between the rapids, the views, and our lunch stop on the river where everything was made fresh. <laughs> Those pastries were good. A rafting trip is one of the few experiences where you can be right next to civilization and yet feel like you're a thousand miles away. That's how we felt exploring the salmon today, and it's an adventure worth discovering. It's absolutely gorgeous and pristine, and you get people from New York City, Boston, who have never even heard of Idaho for that matter and don't know anything about this. You're thinking potatoes, rocks, and they come out here and it is just, it blows their mind. So it's something I think everyone in the world should be able to see at some point between the Sawtooth Mountains and then our River Canyon down here. So buddy, what do you think? We made it. <laughs> Were you worried? Yeah, well, at a moment. One moment <laughs> I was, but I think we, we did pretty darn good. Yeah. yeah, so this is your first time, right? First time, you bet. You really should try this. This is a remarkable section of the river. There's so much you can learn about it. We'll be back with more At Your Leisure in just a minute.